let's see what this thing does. Folks, I am using a GoPro uh, Max, which I've held off on getting one of these cameras for a long time. A lot of people are highly critical of GoPro, saying, oh, they're dying and all that, but I think GoPro just needs to remarket themselves. <laughs> And, and there's so many things they're still super good for that I can't do with almost any other camera. And this is this is pretty awesome. This is this is 3D. Uh, what you're gonna be able to see, 3D, 360 degrees. I'm just driving over to a credit union to my bank and get some money, and move some some funds around. And I thought I would drive around and do this. So this is a 360 video. If you have virtual reality goggles, you can put them on. You can spin your head around, <laughs> or you can. Um, Take your phone, turn in your chair or whatever. If you got a swivel chair, you can see all different angles. You're inside my Volkswagen Jetta, and it's kind of a mess. I'm, I'm operating it, running it off this app right now. Because I've got it hanging upside down, and it's shooting video. And I hope it I hope it realizes that I'm upside down, and it's turning that right, right side up. Uh, I've already tested. I did like a 10-second video earlier this morning to test editing it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll do a video about you know, what the workflow is like to edit this kind of video in Premiere Pro. I'm sure other people have done it, but I'll try to do it really simple. But anyway, so yeah, this is, if you want to turn around and see what's going on, there's a car wash over here to the left of me. Um, some cars in front of me. You should be able to see all the inside of my car and some of the outside if you want to look out the, the window. I'm thinking what would be fun is do driving videos with this on top of the car so as I'm walking around or as I'm riding around you can if you see something you like to look at and want to see it in the rear view or whatever I don't have to take five or six cameras with me to show multiple angles you can pick whatever angle you want to watch so if you want to see me fine if you don't then you can look over here and see with my GoPro and my phone in the seat or you can see uh maybe into the back seat a little bit there's there is a rear view mirror obstructing the view over here on this side now and then over here there is the uh, the upright or whatever for the, the roof of my car so yeah you can edit this very easily in Premiere I wish there were a way you could transfer it very simply over to your phone um, over, your phone, over to a, a hard, to my hard drive it, it looks like I have to download the GoPro file with the app into my videos whatever and then uh airdrop it to myself or something i'm, I'm going to find out the workflow is a little different if it's an easier way to do that maybe I, this is my first day having it and uh, testing it and again this is just driving around seeing how it looks on the inside of the car i want to see how it sounds too um it has i think it has five microphones in it five or six so there's microphones all around it's recording a really good i guess stereo uh, spatial kind of sound I'm not sure exactly how to output that in Premiere so I'm not sure how if it's summing all the audio to two tracks uh, two tracks for video forgive me I'm not picking my nose it's like I've got weird hairs making my nose itch <laughs> I'm sorry for doing that but anyway yeah so if you look out my front windshield now you'll see Morganton off in the distance this thing shoots 5.6k video which, you know, since you're only able to see a little bit of it at a time, whatever angle you're looking at, it, it divides out so that what you're seeing, I think, is 720p when you're looking at it in a YouTube window. And I guess in Facebook as well. I, I, I'll try sharing these videos in different places, but I'm just taking you along for a ride. This is one of the crossroads here in Morganton, kind of where um, I, I'm on Sterling Street, I think is what it's called now. And then this going left and right what the heck is this street i don't know i come here all the time i go this way that way uh, over here goes to uh good, goodness gracious that way goes back toward the north part of morganton this goes kind of toward the south and west part this goes north too i think maybe sort of north and and west this way and back behind me is kind of south and east back toward the hospital where i work i know i'm running on a little bit like i said i just want to test the audio I want to see what this looks like. Could it be cool for driving videos? Uh, the photos look great. So I, I shot a photo in my office a little while ago and I posted it on Facebook real quickly. Then I, then I took it down. I didn't want people you know, criticizing me for posting a photo. But I, I, I think this would be really great for 
doing the kind of internal tours, 360 tours. Um, my boss has kind of wanted me to do that for the hospital for a long while. You know, we go into our atrium area or into, uh, you know, I, I show people where the waiting rooms are, where the meeting rooms are. You can spin around and see the interiors of the hospital. There are going to be a lot of applications for the 360 photos. And the 360 videos on them, maybe not so much unless it's just me having fun with it. Uh, I can see, particularly if the mics sound good from different angles, if I, if I get some of my uh, musician friends together, say I got a bass player, another guitar player, drummer, and we all kind of standing around, and you could, you could, we could perform or something, play, and then you could watch us from, you could pick whichever guy you want to watch picking. Okay, I'm still in 360 mode. I'm outside of Grace Episcopal Church. I'm outside my car now, and I got the uh, GoPro mounted on the top of my of my car. So I'm gonna ride over to the Credit Union, probably take you through Morganton. It's a beautiful day, and we'll try doing a little bit of a driving video here. So here we go. Commentary will come from the studio. So friends, I'm taking over in the studio. <laughs> I'm doing this talking, so if you've hung with me this far, you probably haven't found out yet, but I did not record in the highest resolution. I recorded in 4K rather than 5.6. So we're not getting a true 720p video. What you're watching is more like a standard definition. You may have noticed it's fuzzy, but uh, still you're able to take the video, turn it around any way you want to, just drag your mouse over the video and watch it. I'm gonna do a better version of this. I, I just screwed up and thought I was in the highest resolution but it wasn't and see so yeah, I'm in the studio watching this which is kind of weird watching it because everything's kind of twisted around in a funny way we just passed the library it's back behind us and museums on the left of museum of history looks like I'm coming to the right there if you're looking forward where I'm driving that's Oak Hill Iron Works and I'm gonna do a stop here at the uh, light you'll be over to the left to see the um, uh, Morganton Federal over to the right you'll be able to see I can't remember the name of the restaurant but straight across in front of my car is uh, the coffee shop the kind of popular coffee shop in Morganton um, I can't remember the names of the stores I'm having a hard time I'm just drawing blanks right now because uh, I'm watching this in premiere and it's uh, it, you know, I'm watching the full wide version that shows everything at once and it's kind of freaky the only thing that looks normal is what's dead center of the screen so we're going to cross over here but anywhere you can stop this I think you can stop and imagine if I had shot it in a better resolution you'd be able to see things pretty well I'm going to do a better job next video I put out of this I'm learning if there's one thing they could do that GoPro could do is just make this thing easier to get off of the off of the camera make it so you can plug your camera into your uh, computer and just drag the file over it does not allow you to do that and uh, I guess you can take the um, yeah I have one thing I've not tried there's an app that you can download the GoPro player app maybe if I brought in the unprocessed video off of the card itself onto the drive Maybe that would open it and I'd be able to export it as an MPEG-4. I'm going to give that a shot and see. Right now it's just aggravating. It should be as simple as just plugging your GoPro up to the, or just dragging the card out and it's, it's video ready to go. Because once you've, it's been processed, you pull it into Premiere and it's great. This woman's got on pink shoes in front of us there. That's uh, pretty cool looking. <laughs> I would never wear pink shoes, of course, but hey, it looks good on her. So we're just coming down, uh, I think this is called Green Street in Morganton. Passing the Wells Fargo, the, the uh, courthouse is over on the left there, if you turn to the left. It's funny, as I'm watching this in premiere, the, what's left, what's on the left is right, and what's on the right is left. This, this FedEx truck, even though it's coming up on my left behind me, is on the right on the screen. <laughs> so everything's semi-reversed, kind of, the way that it shot it. And if I'd been up a little higher so I didn't get so much of my car... Uh, that would have been more enjoyable and so I'll, I'm going to learn these things I'll, I'll figure out how to shoot good video with this uh, recording audio using a zoom what is this thing one of these zoom 32 bit voice recorders and then in premiere I'm laying it over the top of the video uh, so I can do this this voiceover so yeah we're just continuing on I'm going to go to the state employees credit union uh, so in a little bit here I'll be turning, but this is just showing you what Morganton looks like 
in 360. As I say, if you're sitting in a swivel chair, put your phone in front of your face and just spin around in your chair, and it should spin around with you. It should, uh, I, at least I think it will. Uh, it's pretty neat. It, it records uh, your geo position, so you've got uh, geo coordinates with all this. It, it's neat to me just to be able to see every angle uh, with video. And if I shoot this at 5.6K, it will be probably at least a third better video resolution. And it won't be as fuzzy as it is in this sample video. So this one may be testing your, uh, your patience uh, still. It's a little inkling of what I'm going to... I'm going to be using this um, for a number of things, and especially for the photography, for being able to do interiors, and, and or even exteriors. You go out in the woods and go to a pretty location and go on a hike, and you can show people what it looks like in 360. I just got to remember to set everything to 5.6K, not let it default back to 4K. So even though I'm shooting in 4K, you're only seeing a small portion of the video at any given time. So I think it, it brings it down to less than, I think it brings it down to 480p probably, or 500, 520, something like that. And if I'd gone full res, you'd be seeing 720p. Now, if uh, GoPro makes this so that your equivalent as you're viewing in the screen is 1080p, I think they got a winner. So I think, it, why did I wait till now to buy it? Well, the prices have gone down. I'm sure some point in 2024, is it Nick Woodman? Is that the guy's name? I'm sure he's going to uh, come up with a, at least he has said, he's going to come up with a better version of the Max. So it's pretty cool though. I have to say still, even in, though I forgot to do this in the, in the super high res, it's neat to be able to spin the video around. I've had the old Samsung uh, 360 thing for six or seven years, but it shot in very low res. It's a lower quality than this, and it didn't stitch together as well. So yeah, if this were made so that it were just easier to get off the camera or off the card and process without having to use the darn GoPro app, because most people that are professionals, they want to use Premiere to edit, or, or Final Cut, or uh, DaVinci, or whatever you know you prefer to use. And certainly for me, it would be great if I could just pull the file in and go to town editing. So I've, I've, not, I've only made a few little cuts on this just to trim stuff off the beginning, and I've trimmed stuff off the end. And then my only other edit, so I'm not changing any color or anything. You're seeing exactly what's come out of the camera. That's Broughton over on the right. Some of the old buildings from Broughton. Uh, the mental hospital. And we're coming to an end on this video. Uh, I'm coming up pretty soon on the credit union where I was taking some, some money to transfer over to Nikki's mama. We like to help her out at Christmas. And anyway, we're transferring some funds into her account. But hopefully you've enjoyed it, watching a little bit of this, seeing a little bit of Morganton. Uh, it's going to be cool to take this up into the mountains or something where you got a little better terrain than what's here. And, uh, you know, like I said, go out in the woods with it, play some guitar or something. It'd be neat to uh, you know, either watch me play guitar and sing or spin around and look at other stuff in the woods while it's going on. It's kind of like this just empowers the viewer to watch what they want to watch. That's it, folks. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.